Today we'll be painting this pretty sunflower on a 10 by 10 inch canvas using acrylic paints in the colors white, golden yellow, king's gold, orange spice, chestnut, and brown oxide. Let's get started. Load a brush with some brown oxide or any other dark brown paint and begin painting an arch in the lower right corner of your canvas. The arch should go up about 3 inches from the bottom corner and about 3 inches out to the left. Fill this area in with your dark brown until you have a quarter circle. Next, take a clean brush, load it with some king's gold, and draw two bunny ears coming out from your brown circle. They should point toward the upper left corner. Now fill them in with some more king's gold. As you can see, these bunny ears are actually your sunflower's petals. Dip that same brush into some golden yellow. This is a lighter shade, and draw three more petals coming out from the brown circle. You should have one on each side and one in the middle of the original two bunny ears, or petals. Fill those in with golden yellow. Switch back to the king's gold and draw two more petals on each end. As you can see, no two petals are exactly alike. Now it's time to add some dimension and shading to our petals. Dip your brush into some of that orange spice color and add some to every other petal. These will be our background petals. You should have four background petals and three foreground petals. Dip back into that king's gold and repaint your three foreground petals. Then, while the paint is still wet, dip into a bit of that chestnut color. This is the medium brown shade and trace over the edges of your foreground petals. Add some thin chestnut lines up and down the petals, especially near the base where they join with the brown circle. Using the same brush, dip into some white and begin blending a few highlights into the petals. Imagine the sun was shining on your flower. What parts would be hit by the sunlight? Paint those areas white. Then go back with a bit of golden yellow to blend and soften the color. Add a few more small lines near the base of the petals with your chestnut color or your medium brown. Then, 
Go back to your first brush and begin dabbing the tip of the brush just beyond the rounded arch of the circle. This will give the flower center a fuzzy and realistic look. Next, fill in that whole area with another layer of brown oxide again. This is your darkest shade of brown. For the next step, you'll need a stiff round brush. I like to use this half inch stencil dabbing brush. You can find one at your local craft store in the stencil section or by clicking the affiliate link in the description box below. Take this stencil brush, dip it into some orange spice, and then begin dabbing about a half inch away from the edge of the brown circle. Dip it into some king's gold and then go right over the orange spice. Then, dip it into some golden yellow and go right over that color. At this point, it's going to get a little too bright, so we'll need to go back in with some of that brown oxide and gently dab that in a few spots over the golden yellow. This will tone the colors back down. Now we need to add some shadows. So, set that stencil brush aside and go back to your regular paintbrush. Load it with some more of that chestnut or medium brown and add a bit of light shading everywhere that a front petal overlaps a back petal, like this. Now it's time to fill in our background. For the background, I use the colors turquoise and black. Load a wide angled brush with turquoise and fill in all the large areas, being careful to not get too close to the petals. You can also fill in the top and left side of your canvas if you like. Now this next step is going to seem weird, but trust me, it'll turn out in the end. Take a narrow angled brush and load it with black paint. Begin carefully outlining half your petals in black. Then, while the paint is still wet, switch back to your wide brush and carefully go over those areas with turquoise gently pulling the black into the turquoise areas. As you can see, this softens the black lines and gives the background a really nice blend of colors. Switch back to the narrow brush and outline a few more petals in black. Then, once again, while the paint is still wet, grab your wide brush and blend in the turquoise. Repeat these steps for any remaining petals. Then, paint a bit of black into the top left corner and blend that in as well. After finishing the background, I noticed that something didn't look right with my painting. The problem was that the soft brown in the lower right corner did not counterbalance the harsh black in the upper left corner. To remedy this, I picked up my stencil brush and dabbed a little bit of black onto all the brown areas of the flower's center. Now the goal is not to completely fill in this area with black, but just add a little bit of darkness to it. It's important to make sure your artwork has balance to it. Take a look at the difference in the before and after. Do you see how adding the black to the flower center balanced the background? Much better, right? And that was it, the last step. Wasn't that easy? Now don't forget to sign and date your painting. Here's our sunflower painting hanging on a wall. Doesn't it look pretty? See, you can paint anything as long as you break it down into simple steps.